you know, all my years of looking at Instagram photos and videos, I never came across an article that is so vile and so disgusting of an Instagram model or a fitness model because, number one, she lost her father and then she wanted to take photos of herself with the casket behind her with her dad laying inside of the casket. Like, what is wrong with today's society, y'all? We need to get to this article. A fitness model has been slammed online after she shared a series of photos posing in front of her father's coffin, described by commentators as sick, vile, and disgusting. Jane Rivia from Miami, Florida is a TikTok star who has gained popularity through her fashion, travel, and swimwear posts. Last week, she took the Instagram revealing her father, a veteran, has passed away. In a separate post shared on Monday, the influencer uploaded virus photos of herself posing in front of her father's casket. Let me take my thoughts on this. For one, you have no business taking pictures of yourself with your dead father in a casket. Why is it that every time we see Instagram influencers do stupid things like this, I don't know if I should call it clout chasing or just being desperate to get attention. And I told y'all, fitness models, they do everything they can to do the worst. And this is why I stay away from people like this. This is not the way to do all this. Number one, your father is gone, laying in a casket, and you just doing Photoshop or photo shoot of this. This is disgusting, y'all. So this is what somebody from her Instagram page called her out for. So I'm just gonna read it. Tons for him. Not cool, Jane. Your dad was a decorate vet. A photo shoot by his casket should be beneath you. May he rest in eternal peace. One follower wrote. Hmm. Funeral post photo shoot. Yeah. Everybody is just going off on her. And, and let this be a lesson. You know, everybody who wants to be social media influencers, don't be this person. Because, you know, people play stupid games, win stupid prizes. This is definitely fits the category. You got some people calling her out on Instagram saying, as this is just foul. And downright disgusting. A third person commented. Well, a fourth said. The fact that you will post something like this. Tells us everything we need to know about you. Exactly. And I like what this person said. I'm going to have to highlight this part as well. Now. It is one thing to be a social media influencer. But it's another thing to. Go to your dad's funeral. And taking photo shoots. Of a, of a casket. Behind you. I mean, this is just stupid on so many levels, though, and I swear, social media influencers think that they're rich, they could just do whatever they want without taking accountability and separate from repercussions, because there are consequences come after that. So apparently, what she did, she felt like she's famous, she could just do what she wants, and since her father died, she could just take a picture of herself with a casket behind her, with her dad laying inside of it. I mean, seriously, this is the most disgusting thing any human being can do. I am sorry. In the photos, uh, uh, Rivera is wearing um, a fitting black suit dress featuring one long sleeve and stockings. Who cares? She looks directly into the camera, smiling, and... Some of the apps while glazing over her shoulder and looking away from the lens and others. And like social media, um, social media influencers does, they always take photo shoots like that. But don't even know the consequences come after when they take photos like that. And it really goes to show you that you have no business being a TikTok influencer and Instagram followers if you think this 
It's cool. Rivera, who boasts 84,000 followers on Instagram and 307,000 TikTok followers, has already lost a chunk of her fan base following funeral photo shoot. And I bet she did. Because you can't just go around and think that what you're doing is okay because you don't know what the consequences might have if you continue to go this route. So apparently what she did, she must have think that since I'm famous, I could just take photos of myself, try to look cute in front of everybody in a funeral. Like, it's not even about you. Your dad died. He, he was a veteran. And never there is something that I do not like what I'm saying. I think it's mad disrespectful. I think it left a sour taste in my mouth. I think she is a disgusting human being. And I think she needs to be taken off social media platforms after what she's done. But you know what? Let, you know what? Let me take that back. Even though I am not a fan of deep um, de platforming people, but I think she needs to just take a break off social media and just learn from her mistakes. But this right here is not it. Many have unfollowed her while also encouraging others to do the same. Mm. Even though when I say I'm not a fan of deep platforming people, I think people are really considering unfollowing her because of what happened. And you know what? I don't blame them because you look up to somebody and you find out they do something stupid like this. People have reasons to unfollow you. And this is why people who lack accountability for their actions, they also lack ownership. And I think this is exactly why, you know, people like her don't even need to be on social media if she keeps this up so only time will tell if she ever went up to her responsibilities Jane delete these pics apologize for your lack of discretion or I will unfollow you and I hope others will do the same one furious fan wrote this is hard this is a hard unfollow God watch that man's soul says another well a third simply Comment it, unfollow. You know, even though I don't like reading people's quotes, just know that there are some serious repercussions coming towards the way. Because we all know she's not going to delete the photos. I just think it's disgusting of what fitness models do or TikTok social media influencers for that matter what they're doing. Like, this is just beyond disgusting. Like, she should know better than that. One social media user described it as the most horrific Instagram post they have ever seen, with many agreeing. True. I can't get over this, one person wrote. According to Rover. Sorry, I can't. For some reason, I can't even say her name right. <laughs> like, it's so weird. According to Rovera's website, she's a pro athlete and also has an OnlyFans. And that's. Okay, now we're getting to the nitty gritty. So. She's not only a pro athlete, but she also has an OnlyFans account. So you already know what OnlyFans is. So I'm not even going to like describe what they do. So Not only that she has an OnlyFans account. But I don't think... You know what? OnlyFans are just worse. So you already know what they do over there. So I'm not even going to say nothing else. Some of her most viewed TikToks of her dancing with one ranking in 11 million views. The social media star has yet to respond to backlash because she's scared. And you want to know, this is, this is the thing with, you know, social media influencers. When somebody calls them out on their nonsense, knowing that they're in the wrong for what they've done, knowing that how serious this stuff can be, especially when you did take a picture of your dad's, you know, and... Knowing that you're going to be scared to even respond to those people. Not knowing the, the huge negative impact that's going to leave on your followers on social media. Just know that you will get destroyed. And, and you're going to end up losing your career over it. But OnlyFans is the worst one. I mean, this is embarrassing.
Now look, if y'all want the article, I will put it in the description below. I'm gonna have to edit some stuff out. Cause at the end of the day, right is right, wrong is wrong. She took the biggest L. That's all I gotta say. Y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll holler at y'all in my next content.